What is going on you guys? It's Erica Bernie finally coming back with another video. You guys may have known me as Stats on Bernardo, which I still am, or Sergeant Bernardo, or Drill Sergeant Bernardo. I did wear all those hats. So today's video is going to be talking about my time as a Drill Sergeant and what led up to that as well. So when I was a Drill Sergeant, um, when I went through the academy, it was about summer of 2018 and I was still an E5. Right now I'm an E6 staff sergeant, but prior to this, of course, I was a sergeant E5 type. So I went through the academy as a sergeant and then I went to the trail, which is basic training, you know, wearing the hat and being a drill sergeant. I was still an E5, a sergeant, and I think that lasted about a year or so until I picked up my staff sergeant. I know there are some sergeants that go through the academy and still are going through the academy and being drill sergeants that are E5s, and I can tell you it wasn't a problem at all. As long as you have good battle buddies, they all treated you the exact same. You both wear the hat of a drill sergeant, whether it's the campaign hat or the bush hat, right? you're still having that same responsibility. So I was lucky to have very good peers amongst me to help me out, to make sure I'm prepared with everything I do, but never really looked at the rank on my chest and treated me just like a drill sergeant. I was a drill sergeant for about two and a half years, so I started after the summer of 2018, and then I went on leave just so I was, because I was PCSing, and then I put my hat on, and I was a drill sergeant for about close to three years so I would say two and a half years and usually my term was only two years but because of the circumstances that happened recently the majority of everyone had to extend six more months so right when I was ending that time of finally going to PCS figuring out my next move I had to extend six more months of being a drill sergeant so it would be two and a half years so I ended my time around um, February or January time frame of 2021. I can tell you during that time it was a little bit difficult because during your time as a drill sergeant you go through these phases just like how it is in the regular unit but since this is more close-knit it was a little bit difficult just because you have the older drill and do certain things a certain way and then you have newer drills that have different ideas and wanted to do it their way. So it was a little bit difficult because when I first came in as a drill sergeant, I was one of the few new ones when everyone else was already seasonal drill sergeants is what they call it. And it was easy for me to pick up on their little task. And But then there's a time where new drill sergeants, more than one or two or three, come along to your unit and then decide to try to change things. But either way, we always get the mission done. It's just the matter of figuring out which way to do it. If you guys already know how I am, I don't really tell people where I'm stationed at currently for the most part. Um, and I don't really tell people where I'm going to TDY until it's kind of done, just because I want to be safe myself. But since I already moved on from that duty station and I already told you all my other duty stations where I've been, I can kind of elaborate on where I was. So I was at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. My basic training was actually at Fort Leonard, but for other reasons, I was in South Carolina. So the battalion I was in in the beginning was 439, and I was in Echo Company. And I was there for about a year, a year and a half or so, until they started building new buildings for that battalion, and then they had a shift my company to a different battalion just because they only had room for Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. So I was trying to time to move Echo back to where they were actually originally from. So my whole company with the first sergeant commander, all the drill sergeants move, especially all the equipment, move to 134 Echo Company and we had to adjust from there. The drill sergeant for kind of a long time. So I'm gonna kinda of go through how it was in our way because you guys see a lot of the basic training and trainees and all that and you kinda of saw the background of my life but I didn't really tell you what I was doing in the beginning because I was an E5 so automatically I'm just a junior drill. Usually when start first class come, they automatically take a senior slot because of that rank structure. So and then and then some portions you might be a staff sergeant holding that senior rank just because there's a lack of sergeant first class. So I was an E5 and I was a junior drill is what we call it for the majority of the time. And I love being a junior drill just because I was out there a lot with the trainees and I didn't really have to worry about the background, planning, all that aside. I was just 
saw the course sheet, saw what the training was, did that training. And then my senior at the time would tell me, hey, this is what we need to do. Um, I need you to focus on X, Y, and Z. And me as a junior drill would X. During my time as a sergeant, I had an amazing senior drill sergeant that that is still my mentor to today and anytime I need help with anything even if it's a civilian type of thing I need to worry about or army military related thing he is probably the first person I really call just so I can see or hear a different insight so I had a great senior drill sergeant and he was a sergeant first class at the time though we did not have a company senior drill sergeant so when our first sergeant changed responsibility and we had a new first sergeant we had to get a company senior drill sergeant and he decided for my sergeant first class to be that company senior drill sergeant and still be my senior drill sergeant and then it was me um so it was kind of difficult at times but it helped me along the way to kind of think on my toes so anytime there was a meeting or anything has to happen they had to pull my my senior drill sergeant and i had to take lead up with whatever was and that made me kind of the NCO I am today because it showed me to take initiative and get things done even if there wasn't someone there to watch over me but either way I had my battle buddies near me and they always mentored me and make sure I was good to go a little along the way I went I went to the promotion board got my P status then I went to ALC which is advanced leader course and then I picked up my staff sergeant right by that time my senior drill sergeant me coming in he was still there but now the first sergeant was leaving and what my battalion commander wanted to do and my command sergeant major wanted to move to my senior which was also CSDS to the first sergeant slot and now here I am trying to make sure I'm doing my best in order to get that senior slot. And a little later on, I got that senior slot for my platoon and I was always second platoon. Of course, that being a 134, there was other NCOs that were there that took the slot of CSDS. But a little bit along the way, especially my time ending the trail, I became company senior drill sergeant, which was a big opportunity because one, I was kind of over everyone else and then that showed that whatever like court sheets or anything that was happening or information I was the person they had to go through before going to the first sergeant so I was the person that was spot checking making sure everything's good wet bulb the eye sheets any little thing before the first sergeant does I had to make sure everything was good to go so we're going to talk a little bit more about my favorite parts of being a drill sergeant. One of my favorite parts about the army, but of course being a drill sergeant, were the people around you became just like family. And yes, the military does do that to you, especially when you're deployed, you go out to the field, you go to schools, but being a drill sergeant, you're doing that for about two to three years. Being deployed, yes, it's nine months and you're all the way over there. Um, going to school, it's about two months, maybe even six months, but you go home and you're done. But being a drill sergeant, you're doing that for two and a half years. And literally working from Monday to Sunday and still doing it all over again. And the only time you get a break is during staff duty and where you pull that 24 hour shift and then you have that day off and then you come back to work. But the thing is they became like family because you're there around 04 to 05, right? Usually our meetings was during 05 in the morning and at the latest you would be leaving at 21, 20 or 21 to 2200 whatever the case may be so we were literally there all the time together any anytime anything was happening we were there together so they couldn't so we couldn't help but become like a family another great thing about being a drill sergeant and you can ask any other drill is the end state of the trainees so you see them from day zero when they were just civilians and then seeing them on graduation day and seeing how much they changed and, and how much you as a drill sergeant had made a difference for the army is one of the best moments in my life and I don't remember that much about being a drill sergeant unless I look back through my videos but I can tell you for the graduation part it really really touched my heart now let's talk about the difficult times so the drill sergeant life isn't flowers and rainbows and candy and all that all the time there were a lot of difficult times as well, especially when you're sick, you don't you don't have a sick day, especially when you're tired, 
you maybe can take a five minute nap out of your 18 plus work day or so but regardless of going home at 20 hundred or 1800 you're tired all the time and you feel like no matter what no matter if you slept after after staff duty and whole 24 hours you will feel like you have never had enough sleep yet also not having a personal life not having weekends it's just it really took a toll on your life itself um, it's great during work times but then personally and just your social life is kind of like gone and then the thing is you're kind of living every single day the exact same. Yes, there's different different training, but every two or every two months, the next cycle, same exact thing. It might be a little bit warmer that time, or it might be a little bit colder, but the, it's the it's the exact same thing. So it's just kind of like Groundhog's Day. So that was a little bit difficult, but you kind of get used to it. And then whenever you do have cycle breaks, sometime in maybe a month which is a rare case, but for the most part it will be two weeks and you're still doing work during the cycle break. You don't really have a cycle break, you don't just stay home and just chill. You're resetting for the next cycle and then getting all the training that you haven't done for a little while and getting that done. Would I do it again? Hmm. I can tell you I love, love being a drill sergeant. It has to be the most rewarding job anyone can have in the army and if and if you don't think so then you probably weren't a drill sergeant and I can tell you if you have the opportunity to be a drill sergeant and you're an NCO and you want to do it and you think it's your time go ahead and try to be it because I can tell you the camaraderie that you have with other drill sergeants even after the trail it's just a great it's just a great thing and you get to meet so many different people from the whole world that come to your basic training and you're teaching them and you just it's just you kind of going out in the army because your name will always be remembered in those other soldiers that you trained a little thing so whenever you're a drill sergeant right you have the hat but then you also have a badge and what's in your pocket it's um a little badge so you just automatically if you pass someone you don't know if they're if they were a drill sergeant or not and it's just a little camaraderie thing with other drills even if you've never worked with each other even if you were a drill from 10 years ago or last week or whatever the case may be once you see another drill sergeant that has that badge that's not wearing the hat but has that badge it's automatically just a conversation starter and i can tell you if from experience that i kind of look to see if someone is a drill sergeant because where i used to be everyone was a drill sergeant of course but now where i am it's kind of a rare sighting to see and then whenever we see each other and we see no matter what rank it is or whoever it is once we see that drill badge we have automatically a conversation to talk about regardless if it's the trail where were you stationed at how was it um how was it whenever you were on the trail it's automatically a conversation starter and that was probably one thing about me was when I first came into this duty station I didn't really know anyone and then once I saw that badge from someone else that was a drill sergeant from years ago it was an automatic conversation starter and then even talking to sergeant majors that were drill sergeant it's just we have that connection because we we understand the sub and we had to do it for more than two or three years and I think it's just a great little small little club you know but I didn't really answer the question would I do it again again like I said I loved it but I don't think I would put on the hat again it was a great experience but that was three years of my life that kind of went away really quickly and now is my time to keep progressing in my career field maybe later on nah. I don't think I would ever do it again but when I become a first sergeant, speak it to existence, I wouldn't mind being a first sergeant at a basic training unit. Let me tell you that. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked the little insight. And if you have any questions about my drill sergeant life or the drill sergeant academy, go ahead and comment down below and then I'll comment back and answer any questions that you might have. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I know the algorithm or whatever is going kind of weird on YouTube. So if you can, make sure you hit that notification bell 
I've been hearing that people don't really get my notifications anymore just because YouTube has been weird and I've been hearing that from other YouTubers out as well. So yeah, give a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I got my head in the clouds. I don't want to come down. I got one, two, three people doubting me now.